The Catalan is one of the modern way to meet the Queen's Gambit decline and in today's lecture we are going to witness one high profile trap in this line from the white perspective. The critical position arises after the following opening move order. D4, D5, C4, E6, Knight to C3 and Knight to F6 are starting point of the Queen's Gambit decline, whereafter flexible Knight to F3 and Bishop to E7, White has three major alternatives. Number one, he can play the move Bishop to G5 and enter into the main line. The second option is you can take on d5 and goes into the exchange variation territory. However, there is a third big time alternative here is g3 which no wonder goes into the Catalan territory. Okay, the main line continues with castle on the king's side, white plate bishop to g2 and we have reached to the most important junction of this line. If black really choose the tactical path, then he has to take this pawn on c4, known as the open Catalan territory. However, as happened in many cases, QGD players are very solid and that's why the second big time alternative here is c6, putting a brick wall to this bishop and going for a solid middle game. Okay, white should castle here and the tricky platform is set right here guys. Now if you look at the database here, there are two popular choices from the black and amongst them I think knight b to d7 is the accurate sequence. However, there are more than 16,000 games continue with b6 which leads to our upcoming high profile trap. Here white should start with knight to e5 and now you can see the drawback of the black's last move. He would love to challenge this knight with knight b to d7 but you cannot as the c6 pawn hangs. Well, as per the database there are roughly 450 games continue with knight f to d7 which leads to our first trappy territory. After this, white is completely winning. And if you need a time, you can pause the video and find the sequence I am showing you right now. First, white take on d5 and it doesn't matter however black recapture, let's say c captures d5. The killer blow happens here. Did you see it? Congratulations if you find the move. Knight captures d5. Bam! <laughs> what a move. The point is, after the forcing technical sequence, that is, e captures d5, bishop captures d5. Now the black rook is hanging in the corner. So again, black response is forced. He should take this knight first. And after our recapture, black can counterattack our rook with bishop to h3. So this is the best black can do in this situation. But look at the end after the following transaction that is bishop captures a8, bishop captures f1. And when white recapture this piece, if you count the material, not only white has come up with a two pawn advantage, but it also has a bishop pair and as per the chess engine, this is completely winning at just 14th move of the game. Isn't that something special? Okay, so it is pretty clear that knight f to d7 leads to a disaster for black. So how about First, protecting this pawn with bishop to b7 and now challenging this knight with knight b to d7. Doesn't it look good? 
Well, of course, that has been played in majority of the cases. But I'm afraid after White's next reply, that is e4, black cannot play knight to d7. Why? Well, that's the trap, guys. And you might want to try out that what is wrong after this natural move, which is as per the database, played in more than 1000 games. However, just one move and black is losing. The question is, can you find it? Well, once again, pause the video if you need more time. I'm showing right now. At this position, White has a dazzling reply. Just look at this, guys. Knight capture c6, boom! <laughs> Another stunner. So time and time in this line, White is becoming a pawn up. And the big time point is, when black take this piece, we have this nice sequence. E captures d5. It doesn't matter whether black captures this pawn or move the bishop back. Both leads to the same trap. So let's say e captures d5. Now we take back with the c pawn, attacking the bishop. And when this bishop moves to the only square, namely b7, we have a nice in-between tactical move d6 and after this no matter whatever black plays he is going to lose a vital pawn in the opening well the b7 bishop is hanging so he has to take on g2 but white has a nice intermezzo here d captures e7 attacking the black queen and when black take this pawn we can safely recapture our piece back and if you count the material Indeed, white has come out as a complete pawn advantage. Well, don't forget to look at the results here as white score is tremendous. That's it guys. I hope you enjoy and learn this high profile trap in the close cat line. Remember, if your opponent play the move b6 here, then as I have shown in this video, white can play the move knight to e5 and this leads to two amazing trap which you definitely want to try out in your own tournament practice. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to like, subscribe and comment and I will meet you in my next episode very soon. Bye and take care.